What up players, it's Wobos Tape in this mud. Today I'm going to show you how to paint white really quickly, simply, and without a lot of those masterclass steps. And I'll also show you how to do shadows in the recesses. So uh, you can get a really good, effective, and simple white color scheme. I've used it on her, used it on this one as well, and used it on this one. These three pirate girls all benefit from uh, this really simple, really quick to do white t uh, color scheme. So, hope you guys enjoy it. I go through what paints you're going to need in the video. And yeah, let me know if this was of some use for to you. And uh, thanks for watching. Okay, so I thought we'd do a how to paint white tutorial. That is totally different from this guy. And a lot easier to paint. So it's only going to take three colors. Celestia Gray, Othuan Gray, and White Scar. And this is for painting cloth mainly, but you can also use this on your White Scar's models. So we're going to use this pirate girl as, as our model. And um, I painted everything except the top, which is going to be done in white. So it's just sprayed in my usual when I prime models. I use this duplicolor sandable primer in gray and um, this is how that's the sh that's the shade this is the shade of it so first thing we're gonna do is take our celestial gray and we're going to shake it up and we're just going to paint paint it over everything that's gonna be white make sure you get it into all the grooves all the shadows, all the recesses, and make sure you spread it out because it's a base paint, which is like the old Games Workshop foundation paints. They are a little bit thicker than the layer paints, supposedly. Yes, that's their that's their claim. So uh, I have noticed though that when I'm painting it, and you get down to the to the ends of like when you're spreading the paint down, that's spreading it around. It kind of splits and reduces and at the ends it just seems really watery so you want to have enough paint that if it starts to get like shiny and oily and watery looking like here on the sleeve then you just get a little bit more or you spread it around so that you don't get that effect as much yeah after going back and trying to watch all of my white scars videos that master class is like really you gotta really be willing to just sit down with a character model or a display model that you really like and are really just going to be able to paint from beginning to end because man there's no way I guess you could if you it'd just take you forever if you wanted to do an army like that So this technique is for any of you who want to paint up like an army of high elves or anything where you have like white scars, space marines, stuff like that. So there we go, you just make sure, check all the angles, make sure that it is everywhere you want it to be. Then we're going to let this dry and come back and you want to have your Oath One Gray ready. Okay, so now that we're tried with that, we are going to move on to Oath One Gray. Yeah, like I said, you could use this technique for anything that has white cloth. So I think there's a lot of, if you're painting fantasy, You've got a Empire Army, you could do this as Middenheim colors, I think. Might have done something like this for the How to Paint a Middenheim State Trooper video. Basically, we're leaving the Celestra Gray in the folds. And we are painting the raised areas using short brush strokes. I 
think the, the problem that I see with a lot of new painters is that their brush strokes are usually, usually load up their, their brush with paint and do, do like one or two quick sweeps with the brush over the model and that usually ends up in a very clumpy and thick paint job which is which just doesn't look as good to me. I don't know if I mentioned this on another video but I have some some black Templars that I got second hand from somebody and the black was just you know chaos black painted over the entire model and the white looks like it was the old skull white but painted straight out of the pot and just like gunked on and it looks really not that great so you see I'm trying to follow the lines of the sculpt of the model here in the folds I'm trying to keep on the on the upper areas as much as possible with your old one gray You can do as many coats of these as, as you want in order to get the, the level of highlighting that you want. But I think I just did two right now and two for me is gonna be is gonna be enough. For high elves, for models that have lots of white cloth, you might want to do three three layers just to be safe. For our purposes though, just to demonstrate for this tutorial one or two layers is just fine okay and the last color we're gonna be using is white scar now what I've noticed with this white scar paint is that see how watery it is right at the top. I think that's, uh, in fact, I'm no, I'm no chemist, I don't know, but it's like really watery and all the pigment seems to be at the bottom. So you just have to always give it a good shake. So it gets to be more like this. And the consistency with paints, especially with white paints, you always want it to be kind of like cream. So um, what I would do is take this, put it on your wet palette and add in a drop of water until the, the white paint kind of becomes a consistency of cream and that's going to be a good way to paint it on without being uh, making sure that it won't clump. And with this we're just going a little bit more on my wet palette here. I'm just going back over everything we've already done. We are bringing up the highlights even more in the top areas. Try to paint right over what you did with Ultra One Gray. Leave the Celestra Gray inside the cracks and in the shadows if you can. And just like with Oath One Gray, you can do as much or as little as you want. Since this is the final highlight, it's going to be the, the one that the eye picks up either the most if you put a lot on or the least. So it's up to you how bright do you want the final white layer to be. And there you go. If you mess up, you want to go back and redo anything, then just take a little bit of known oil and I'll show you what this looks like. Here we have some known oil. Water it down. 
put it in your wet palette and water it down, add a little bit of water so that it's not straight out of the pot. And then what you're gonna do if you make a mistake, or just if you want to do it, is paint it into the shadows. Like here, the bunches at the elbows. Gonna be careful doing this too much. This is a great beginner technique, but as you get better with painting, and learn more techniques, this is actually one that you want to shy away from because it's really easy to see and to differentiate that oh well, you're just using shades in the in the in the shadows rather than using built up layers of gray paints and white paints. But for a beginner technique, it's one of the best that I've learned to do shadows. You just don't want to let it pool there. I'm gonna draw it out so that it doesn't look like a like a puddle of of shade painted into into the bunches. Okay, and there you have it. So all you really need to do this effect fully are the three paints I said in the beginning: Celestra Gray. I'll show them off again in case you've got me muted. Celestra Gray. Both one gray, white scar, and if you want to go that extra step to add shadows, known oil. Best of luck with painting your whites on your models, and we hope you enjoy and got a little something from this video. Latest players.